one of the most asked questions in Minecraft Bedrock is on how to set velocity for entities. For example, you could knock back entities or make them move like you want to. And luckily, in this video, we're gonna building just that. Now let's start actually coding. The very first thing that we want to do is we want to make a custom knockback system. For that, we're gonna be using the entity hit event from the worlds class that we also have to import from at minecraft-server. Next, we want to deconstruct the entity and the hit entity from the callback of the function. Right now, we are facing a severe problem because the entity hit event also fires when you hit a block. And when you hit a block, the hit entity will be undefined. And that's why we have to add this line of code, which will basically return whenever the hit entity is undefined. Now that we've cleared out all our problems, we can set the velocity for our hit entity. Now we can use the IVEC3 interface to set the velocity for our entity. As you guys can see, both the x and z value are both set to 0 while the y value is set to 5. This will cause the entity to launch up itself into the air whenever we are hitting it. Good, now we set the velocity for the entity. But how can we extend this? We can add on to the system by using some math. We use the entity's y and x rotation to see wherever the entity is looking at. In this case, the player. There is no z value because the player looks on a 2D field instead of a 3D field. So y is the coordinate from left to right and z is the coordinate from down to up. We need the rotation of the entity to convert it back into radians because right now the rotation is in degrees. This will cause the entity to shoot into the direction we are looking at. We can multiply the values to amplify the outcoming effect. Don't forget to set the velocity to the variables that we just declared. Cool, now we have a custom knockback system. Let's see how this effect looks in game. We have an innocent cow right here, and when we hit it, it flies away. Now let me show another example. For this, we want to make something happen every tick, and for that we're gonna be using the system.run schedule from the last video, which we also have to import. Then we can just iterate to every player on the world using the world.getPlayers method. Now we want to grab the entity that the player is looking at using the getEntities from viewVector method. This will return every entity that the player is looking at right now, but since you only need to do this for one entity, We'll just grab the first index of it. Again, we need to check if the player is even looking at an entity, and if not, we're just gonna continue. We're using continue instead of return, because when you use return, the loop breaks, and we don't want the loop to break. And now we can just do the same that we did with the example from above. As you can see, I put the multiplier to a negative amount. This will cause the entity to fly towards my direction. Here again, with our innocent cow, if you look at the cow, it will fly towards me. Look at this innocent chicken. As you guys can see, the chicken will fly towards me because of the set velocity function. And that's how you use the Minecraft set velocity function for entities. And comment on what tutorial I should make next and join my Discord server. Bye!